Well, obviously, um, just a great college basketball game. Uh, I thought the environment was incredible. Um, the way the two teams battled and played was was um, tremendous. I mean, that's what college basketball is all about. A rivalry game like this, you know, usually can bring out the, the best in you in terms of your effort. And I thought we really, Greg, diving for that ball at half court, you know, very early in the game. A couple other hustle plays that we made were just you know, inspiring type plays. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm thrilled for our guys and for our program. And uh, this was this was a, a great, great win. Got it to overtime. You had to feel good about your chances, just the momentum. Yeah, you know, the team that kind of puts into overtime has feels like it has an advantage, that's for sure. And being at home, uh, Darian's, I, I thought Kendall getting us to overtime, you know, to get fouled on that and to make that three. And then Darian's obviously incredible three. When we were in overtime, it just it felt like um, we were having a hard time scoring for the latter part of the second half until the end. And then in overtime, it just seemed like we clicked and we were just moving so fast and so well and, you know, suddenly making those shots that we hadn't necessarily throughout the second half. So uh, really, really, a, I mean, a great, a great win. Chris, ultimately, I guess the composure in the first half and throughout the second half, too, really, is, is won it in a lot of ways. Yeah, I thought we played very poised, very composed. Um, you know, to have 13 turnovers in the game and for, for VCU to only have five steals, th those are... Those are, are great numbers for us, and you, you know you have to um, you, you have to really test yourself. And we prepared really, really hard, and um, I, I think it really showed up. The guards are going to do the lion's share of the ball handling and decision making. I thought they played great, um, but it was a team win, and especially how well our front court, which is made up of almost all freshmen, played. Uh, I, I thought I thought that was great. Darren said that that last play in, in regulation was to try to get the ball to Kendall first. Yeah, we, we, we came off of a – no, no, no. We tried to get it to Darian for the shot that he made. Didn't you see him? <laughs> I saw that. Right, right. I saw them looking. Yeah. You know. No, that's true. We we, we, we we using a lot of ball screens, and we instead of rolling the lines, oh, we're going to have him screen down for Kendall, who was closely guarded and said made a great play to kind of hand it to Darian. Um, and the one thing I thought Darian did is he kind of took a little mini dribble and pulled up so he could get a clean look. You never know if that's going to go in, uh, but I thought he put himself in a position to make it or get a, get a clean look. And – it's just such an exciting play and such such a great play. The way your team continued to respond, they were up and then tied the second half. You pull, it looks like you're going to pull yeah. away and then you fall back. I mean, the way they responded each time. Incredible. Uh, you know, Kendall is is a really tough little guy, and uh, you know, I thought he really set the tone for for that kind of toughness. Uh, you know, a lot of our four freshman um, front court players played played really really well and hard. And you don't always get that. Is for them to play that well together, uh, but we but we never gave up. Even when it was I think it was seven with 37 seconds to go, we we never gave up. I think uh, Kendall kind of exemplified that, and then we kind of all got on board, and that that was impressive. Coach, you two in the conference and back-to-back -back games. What does that say about your team in the A-10? Well, uh, I think we're pretty good. Uh, you know, I I really would like to see us as as we get better and and then add Derek back to the mix. Um, you know, you, you kind of have to hold serve at home. Um, you have to put yourself in a position to win games at home and hope to, to get – it's so hard to, to win games on the road. So I, I think it means we're pretty good and, and uh, as we can get better and then add in um, one of our best players back, I, I, hope that, I hope that means good things for us. Chris, did you have a sense that your guys maybe felt – slighted or overlooked by all the attention VCU was getting just because of how well they've been playing? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Hank, I, I'm, to be honest, I, I, if they did, I don't care. You know, <laughs> you know, we, we need to just take care of our business, and uh, I think VCU deserves uh, all the credit that they get. And, uh, you know, they've won the games. They, they've put themselves in, in position and um, to, to do – and they have done great things. So we, we need to worry about the University of Richmond and, and how we practice and play. What's your formula for continuing to beat top 25 teams here? Well, uh, well, <laughs> that's a good question. And we've had some success, and which I'm really proud of. Um, number one, you have to be able to play them. So if you're in the Atlantic 10, you get you get a couple of chances, and then if you can play them at home, that that, that really that really increases your chances. So uh, it's something that we're proud of. You know, this this program has a great tradition and. Uh, Coach Terrence's team played so well in big games and in games in the end, in the postseason, and uh, we're, we're trying to carry that off as as best we can. Thank you.
Their defense is kind of designed to wear down everyone's legs, but your guys seem to have some spring in their step, especially on those threes late, late in the game. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, I, I thought um, – I thought we really did. We, we we didn't give up. I think Greg probably played the whole, almost the whole second half in overtime. Said played a lot. It, it is hard. It's it's the relentlessness of the pressure that kind of um, puts you on your heels or makes you get tired. Uh, but but we we hung in there. We we were we were tough. And um, I I can't say enough of of how how great I feel for the guys. Were you rotating more than usual? Just I think to keep yeah. Guys fresh? Yeah, we were subbing more. I think we put guys in a lot more quickly, especially in the first half. And um, funny how that bench gets a little shorter in the second half. But we 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 try. We, we feel like we're deep. Uh, one one thing is that our there are a lot of freshmen coming off that bench, and so um, we feel like we're deep and we can play guys. And it's just up to the coach to make sure he's confident enough to put those guys in. This is like the, your what your fifth conference game, but. What does this do for your team? Can you build on this? Can this carry over? Well, I hope so. Um, you know, this this is a really big win. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, this win has, you know, a lot to do with the rivalry. Um, to me, I, I think we talked about that. N not about anything uh, personal, or, or but it, it's important for us to uphold, uh, you know, our our uh, side of the of the rivalry. You know, it, and um, I, I think these guys were very very in tune with that and, and making sure that, that we could win the game. You know, now I think we can look forward to the conference. You know, that this conference is rough. I mean, we, we just played 15-2 and two Charlotte, 16-3 and three VCU. Now we go to play UMass, who has a really good record, and then Temple. I mean, th this is a... This is a, uh, a bleep of a conference. This is, this is, this is really tough. <laughs> when you talk about composure, Coach, and you talked about this week, is it something that's been a trait of your team or is it something that maybe you found out a little bit more about your team tonight? Yeah, I, I think we found that's a great question. I, I think we found out more of it tonight. I, I think that uh, I, I can remember like the Minnesota game where we had a, a seven or nine point lead in the second half and, um, you know, we weren't, we didn't stay as composed as we could have. Um, you know, ga games have been, and it hasn't been terrible or, you know, just awful body language, but, it, but we could have been better. And I think tonight, Really signified a, a real step in the right direction. You know, it, we are we have a lot of young players, but we also have some veteran guys. And I thought when we got to that stage of the game, those guys really took over. I was going back to Darius Shot. Were you surprised that they did not try to foul? Him? Well, we talked about it. You know, I, I was thinking a couple of things. It was a 30-second timeout. It was 12, 12 seconds to go, and I was I was worried about a few things. Number one. A zone press, you know, because they press you man-to-man -man most of the time, and a zone might make us flinch a little bit. Then I was worried about poss the possibility of them fouling. Um, but then you just have to play. You know, it, it, it's the, I, I just think you can't give your guys too many things to think about as they're going to the game. So all we said, if it's a zone press, 12 seconds is plenty of time to break a zone press as you would if it was the first possession of the game. So just calmly break it if you see zone. If not, we called this play designed for – Kendall, which Darian ended up making the shot. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Guys, coach. have a good night. Thanks.